Hi everyone, I'm going to share what's just been put on my heart. I hope I do it justice. I don't think I can even come close. That old rugged cross where Jesus gave up his life for those who are called, for those who shall choose him to be their Lord and Savior for what he did on the cross. He shed his precious blood for us so that we can have life by believing in him and trusting in him for what he did for us. He took away all our sins, all our troubles, all our cares, all our sicknesses and everything. Even though it feels like they're still with us, that heavy burden we're carrying, Jesus wants you to give it all to him. Pick up your cross Remembering Jesus and what he did for you is what that stands for. Let him carry that heavy burden for you. Just carry the cross, which is your burden, your burden. Pick up your cross and follow Jesus. He has all your troubles under control. He has them. He covered them with his blood. Trust him. I don't know what kind of tree it was that the cross was made from. Maybe it's in the Bible. I don't, I don't know. But Jesus stretched out his arms on that cross. Those two wooden beams put together that he bore our sins and our shame and suffering on. And you have to believe in him. That the last words that he said on that cross before he took his last breath were, it is finished. You must trust him and believe him. That he did all that for you. That he is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And above him there is no other. There is no other name under heaven given by men whereby we must be saved. That name is Jesus. Jesus, he bore our sins. It's Jesus we cry out to when we're in trouble. It's only Jesus that can deliver us from our troubles and those sins. Those troubles that we're bearing. Oh, there's so many people committing suicide because they don't understand that our hope and our joy comes from Jesus. There's no hope in this world. There's no hope of this world. Only Jesus can give you hope. He is our blessed hope that we look forward to. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of that great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He can give you joy that you don't even know exists if you're if you're sorrowing and dwelling in in your pains and sufferings and your troubles of this world no matter how deep you are into sin or trouble Jesus can deliver you through it he'll deliver you out of it but you must trust him through it all he will carry you all you need is the size of a mustard seed of faith to trust him just trust him. I had a, a, a person tell me the other day. She said she gets a call frequently from her husband who works in downtown Chicago. And he has a, many times had to call her to say, it happened again. I'm going to be late. You know what it is? Another person threw themselves in front of a train to commit suicide. Please take heed, everyone. There is hope in Jesus if somebody would reach out to these people that are hurting right now. People in Chicago, New York, Los Angeles, all over the world, these great cities where, care, where there's many people employed and many, many ways of the world through darkness of the devil with the people working in spiritual wickedness in high places. These people are drowning in sorrows and shame and they need prayer they need the gospel preached to them please reach out to people everyone you who are saved you are a born-again christian help these people see the truth pray for them smile show them something that they have hope in when that something is someone jesus christ he can help them even though the troubles of this world seem like you're drowning in them the answer to all these problems is only found in Jesus by what he did for us at the cross. 
It's only Jesus who can help you if you're suffering. And no matter what it is, he has the answer you're seeking. He has the help you need. No one of this world, no man on earth can do for you what Jesus Christ has already done and overcame through the cross for you. There is victory in Jesus. Jesus defeated Satan on that cross when he shed all his blood out for us to pay the price for these troubles we face. You don't have to suffer. Jesus Christ says, Come unto me, all you who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Go to Jesus. I promise you, he will show up in your life. He will make things all new in your life. Call upon his name to be saved. What he did for you, he did for others, he did for me. Please grab a hold of that gift, that free gift of salvation to help you, to deliver you from your sins and your troubles. Without Jesus, we go to a burning lake of fire in hell for all of eternity. You think you're living in hell on earth? And you are, if you don't know Jesus. Well, the hell that he sends us to when we take our last breath, if we don't know him, is by far much greater. And it never ends. It goes on and on and on forever and ever and ever. You don't want to go there. You need Jesus, everyone. You need to call on Jesus now. You don't know if you are going to have another breath. You don't know if you're going to wake up tomorrow. Don't die in your sins. You must call upon the Lord Jesus Christ to deliver you, to save you from death and damnation in hell. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. The Father is God in heaven. You need Jesus. Jesus is God who manifested himself in the flesh to go to the cross and demonstrate how much he loves us. He died. He was buried. And he rose again by the power of the Holy Spirit. There's your proof. We have victory through Jesus. No man on earth can take away your sins, can forgive you of your sins. No man on earth can save you from hell. Only Jesus Christ the perfect, sinless Son of God. What are you waiting for? The truth is jumping out into your ears right now. Do not delay. We are in the very last days that Jesus warned us of to look for, to know when his return is, is very near. That time is now, and you don't know that you have tomorrow. So stop looking for man to find the answers. Don't look for another man on earth. Not even me. Just hear this message from the Lord through me. It's from the word of God. Hear this message. Hear what saith the Lord to you who are weary and heavy laden. Call upon Jesus. Call upon Jesus. Pick up your cross and follow him to victory. The path to heaven. Jesus warned us. He said, wide is the gate that leads to destruction, which is where many go thereat. Which means the majority of the people of this world go to destruction in hell. He said, but narrow is the gate that leads to heaven, and few there will be that go there. Join those of us on that very narrow path. The very few of us who choose Jesus in this dark, evil world. I know it's tempting to follow the crowd, but you've got to be different. You've got to rise up above the crowd and look to Jesus. Look up to Jesus and find your answers, the truth, the way, the truth, and the life to the road to heaven. This life here is but a vapor. Don't hang on to this world. Don't let yourself be grounded in this world. Oh no, let go of this world. And be ready for Jesus. Hold fast that which you have in Jesus. Hold fast 
Revelation 10, 3 verse 10. That which you have, hold fast that which you have. Let no man take your crown. He says, behold, I come quickly. He's coming quickly. Are you ready? You are not ready if you don't know Jesus in your heart. Allow Jesus to come into your heart now. Ask him to forgive you of your sins. And to come into your heart and to let you be saved. Call upon his name. Repent. Turn away from your sins. Now, today is your day. For today is the day of salvation. Truly, tomorrow could be too late. There is no other way to get to heaven. Suicide is not the answer. That's the devil's answer to bring you to hell. Call upon Jesus and be saved. Please, I implore you, I beg of you. Time is very short for you, for me, for all of mankind to be saved. God bless you. In Jesus' name.